Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I am doing a collab with some girls from Geeks and Beauties. Uh, it is a Facebook group and I joined a few months ago which was one of the best things I could have done. They are very supportive. They are very nice, they're very sweet, and they're always doing fun stuff like collabing. And it's so much fun. Groups are always so much fun. Um, this time we are doing a collab, a few girls and I, over the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. Uh, it is one of my favorite palettes. Much it was my first high-end palette that I ever did purchase. And I purchased this because my sister-in-law gave me a, a gift card for Sephora, and this is what I ordered. So thank you to my sister-in-law for purchasing it for me. Um, it is my favorite chocolate bar palette. Um, I did break it. I, it fell right before I started um, videotaping right now. And I almost started crying. I mean, my heart sank. I thought that I had broken them. This is the only one that broke. I was like, ugh, yikes. And it's loose and... But this one is the one that doesn't have the names on it. It came with a little insert. So this one doesn't have the name. So when I'm doing the actual tutorial, I'm not telling, I'm pointing at which ones I'm using because I don't know the names. This one is the thinner version. Remember when they first came out, it was thicker. I was not about to get that thick monster of a palette. So I waited and they came out with a thinner version. And that's the one I got. But it didn't have the names in inserted in the palette. So I don't know what colors I'm using. But um, if you guys want to see my look, which is a very simple look. Um, I actually used this palette this whole past week. And I came out with five different looks to go to work. That's what I've been doing. The week before I used the Tartlet palette. And I think next week... I, I don't know. I, I, what I usually do is go on Instagram. So go on my Instagram and I ask for suggestions. And this one was suggested on Instagram and both on Facebook. So this is the one that I ended up using. So thank you to everyone that did suggest me using this one. And I got to do a collab with uh, the group of uh, Geeks and Beauties. So thank you uh, for watching. And if you want to see how I came up with this look, Keep on watching. Okay, so I already put on my face, like I already did my eyebrows, I already foundation, bronzer, concealer, all of that stuff. I put a base. Actually, I haven't put a base on my, um, I made iced coffee this morning. And I like drinking coffee in the morning, but I don't like, um, I don't want to drink it hot it's so hot so this is from Clinique it is a chubby stick and it is in the bountiful beige it does have a little bit of a shimmer and the shimmer that I'm gonna put on my eyes I feel like it's gonna stick better I'm thinking that's whenever I'm gonna use a shimmer anything um, I put this on it. It gives it more of a, I guess, a base. Mm -hmm. So I am going to use this one right here. I am going to use this shade all over my lid. As you can tell, they are very pigmented. These are very good shadows. Um, It's just, uh, um, I think this is just a cult favorite for a reason because it's so good. Um, again, like I'm going to show you which colors I use because I do not know the name of them. So I'm using it on my crease as a transition color. It's usually the one that when I... That is my go-to transition color every time I use this palette. No matter what look. Now, I did use this palette all week 
uh, to go to work and I came up with five different looks. I think that this one's my favorite. I am doing the, my favorite of all of them. Of all the looks that I did this week, I know I should have taken pictures and it's just that when I'm in the I'm going to go to work mode, uh, mode uh, good luck getting me out of it. Because I like getting out of my door at a certain hour during the day and there's no holding me back. I hate with a passion to be late to work. So I'm going to go in with this color right here right here um as to darken up my lid a little bit i'm using a sonia kashik blending brush you can get these at target not this one in particular because it has been discontinued it is my favorite favorite blending brush i haven't been able to find another one just like it it is natural bristles not synthetic um, I like using it as what I'm using it for. Um, I've had it for years, like literally years. And it's still going. So I am going to darken it up just a little bit more. But I like using this burgundy color to darken up. I think it works well with my brown eyes. Um, I have used it as a standalone color before with the pink color, the pinkish colors here. And as you can tell, this is very pigmented. So I'm just placing the color here. This is not, this is not um, how it's gonna look. My eyes are so hooded that my outer V just doesn't. I see some girls that do a, a V on their outer V. I can't, I can't do that because my, my, um, my eyes are so hooded. So I have to place, see, I'm going to come in with the same blending brush with no more product, but the same product, the uh, same uh, Ka uh, Sonia Kashuk blending brush, and blow that out. Now for you to be able to see this color on my eye, I would have to blink. But what I do is that I blow it out. That way, um, you, you know, you can see the shadow peeking through. So that's why I place the color there with a smaller brush and I come in with this blending brush and blow it out. I smoke it out. But as you can tell, I only stay in my outer V portion. So see how it, it it's still dark, but it has it's been smoked out. That's basically all I do. Um I can use the gold color because it would look nice with the bronze and the burgundy, but today I am going to use this color right here, which I love so much. Um, I usually go in with my fingers because I get a better pigment payoff, like a... than going in with a brush or even foiling them. Um... Just carefully place it with your finger. One more time. Okay. Okay, perfect. So um one more thing I do do is come in with a flat uh, shader brush. And I get this very, very, very light, light pink, which is a perfect highlight color. And I put it on my brow bone. And see how that instantly brightens? You see the difference? It instantly brightens my, my brow bone. 
it's not overly shimmery where you can't use it every day uh, it just really brightens your brow bone um, I normally don't smoke out the bottom uh, lashes because I don't know if you can tell but look my eye is watering and that's that's let me put on mascara and and uh, blush and all that stuff so usually I curl my lashes put on mascara put on blush and um, come in with mascara again and of course I didn't get a mascara for my lashes I'm back I got my mascara I am using the essence lash princess and the false lash effect mascara I really love it see how good it is look at the difference between this eye and this eye and it doesn't clump up it doesn't get all people are always asking me what false lashes I use at work I'm like no I just use a very awesome mascara so let's let that dry and I'm gonna go in today with a Too Faced um, it is a love hangover it's the only one I have I, I really personally don't like it um, but I already have it and I didn't want to return it. As you can tell, it really doesn't have much color. And I'm part clown, so I like to wear a lot of blush. It's whatever. I don't like it. Um, let me put some um, um, eyebrow gel. I am using the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Espresso, I believe. Yeah, Espresso. I already need a new one. I'm almost out of it really good eyebrow gel I like it because it has little like glimmer specks so it gives you um, some highlights in your eyebrows I like that um what else what else lipstick I'm actually gonna wear a lip I'm gonna gloss. wear this Anastasia lip gloss in Kristen in Kristen Let's use this uh, from the Sweet Peach Palette. Let's use the, the highlighter, which I personally like this palette. Um, Put a little bit just to be a little shiny. Purpose was to use that Too Faced. Um, let me see. Um, 
palette because it is in uh, in a collab with some of the girls from Geeks and Beauties. Um, it is a group on Facebook. If you guys want to join, you guys are more than welcome to join. Uh, they do accept um, uh, people that want to join on Saturdays. It's a great group. It's very supportive. I really love those girls. Uh, they always have great content. I will list the people that I collabed with down below. I'll list their the link to their videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like them and let them know that you're coming from my channel. Say hello for me. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I really like this look. This is my favorite look. It's very simple. Um, I am a very simple person and, and I do very simple makeup. I mean, I don't do anything extraordinary. I'm not a professional. I am not a... <laughs> A professional makeup artist so I mean this is the best I can do but thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it I want to thank all the girls that collabed with me in this video well that I collabed with thank you for letting me join your collab and hopefully we can collab some more <laughs> so um if I didn't say enough about this palette you really need to if you don't have it buy it I think it's a it's an awesome palette um I broke mine um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I did uh, drop it right before I started uh, videotaping. And this one chipped a little bit. And now it doesn't close the same. But I did drop it and uh, yikes. But um, I love this palette. I, I, I do recommend this palette. Um, if you don't have it, I think you should get it. Out of all the chocolate palettes, including the peach palette, I think... This is the best. Um, it is the original. So, um, I mean, I think always the originals are better than, than the sequels. <laughs> so, um, thank you once again for watching the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.